I got a message for y'all from okay. Cardi. All right, so so this is what I believe in, right? Like, Me it's too. Like, if if you're gonna be the type of like uh, you want to take care of you and everything, but it's like, all right, you have to like pick a balance. Okay. Like, it's like you cannot just be a. It's like, oh, my man, take care of me. He does the bills. But it's like, what do you do? What are you contributing? Like, it's like, all right. Like, you can't be complaining like, oh, I cook, I clean every day. It's like, okay, but you don't work. You don't contribute to the house. So I just feel like it's like, so, and like sometimes people be like, oh. So this is like really controversial, right? Cool. I feel like it's very controversial when like, be like, oh, I don't go 50-50. But it's like, all right. So if you and your man make the same amount of, of money, right? Mm -hmm. But only your man is the one that paying all the bills. How y'all ever gonna save up to like buy a house or buy a business? Cause he's never gonna be able to afford to. So it's like certain things is like a, a joint thing to do. You, you know gotta what I'm work saying? together. Like it's, like, it's like a work together. But I just be feeling like sometimes people, like the internet, really be having people up from like real reality type. Thing. So it's like it's like all right. So your your mom and dad used to work every single day right mm -hmm. so your mom and dad used to work every single day so your mom could save her money and what buy purses and your dad just pay all the bills that's not how it worked this no. is that your mom was in the house cooking and cleaning every day your dad was working or they was both working to to pay both the bills like y'all be right. acting like y'all don't know what that is like no more like come on and your mom money was your was your dad money and your dad money was your mom money. Like, it was it was like that yeah, it was it, like it's like I, that's what i'm saying like i'm not a feminist anymore because it's like sometimes it's like y'all be living in the real world right Y'all not living there. Y'all be talking about my money is my money and his money is my money. I mean, my money is my money and his money is my money. But like, oh! my money is my money. Like, my money is my money and his money is money. But it's like, but you know, like, it's like we both spend money on each other and right. everything. And it's like, if we want to go and everything, it's like, all right, like, if we're going to buy a house, like, let's go half and half. And it's like, if we're going to buy. It's not a one way street. It's not a one way street. Like, it's like, if we're going to buy, like, a, like, crazy expensive furniture is like ah right, you buy the couch and i buy the dining room set like it's like it's it's a it's a both thing like right it's a both thing because then when you leave like you really leave with nothing because you were second big hey but he had to pay all the bills well you now you're divorced and you don't got not no house no nothing you don't you don't have cash you don't even got a couch mm -hmm. you don't even got a couch. that's but that's my thought i'm really old school i'm old school, uh, old school too so Okay, so Cardi B, um, she did an interview and basically, I guess this was like a little side conversation that they were having behind the scenes that they decided to capture and put it on the internet. But, you know, Cardi B is just basically calling out the delusional behavior of a lot of these feminist women who believe that a woman has to... Um, you know, only be with a guy that makes so much more money than her and she she doesn't have to lift a finger, you know, soft wife life, soft wife, soft girl era, all those things where, you know, there is no contribution from the woman's point at all when it comes to the dynamic of the relationship. And she's calling it out, right? So she's calling it out and she's making it known that this is not reality. You guys are delusional. This is why she literally said, this is why I'm not a feminist anymore, because I realize that you guys are taking an inch and, and running with it. You guys are, are, are running all the way. I understand, you know, the support. I understand the unity. I understand the structure of the two people working together. But y'all are taking this a bit too far. You guys are dragging it now, right? Now, interestingly enough, although I am not surprised, women in the comment sections were going off, right? Who were you to give us dating advice? You know, your man was cheating on you. You're this, you're that, you know, you you have a, a man who has a whole bunch of it. We already know how a lot of the women a part of the sisterhood are going to respond based off of it not, you know, the na the narrative that they want to be painted not being painted. Once you start saying something that makes a little bit too much sense or sounds like you are offering a little bit too much support um, or understanding to the man's point of view, women run the other way. Women are like, absolutely not. We will cancel you. We don't want to deal with you. We don't want this. We don't want all of that. What I thought was very interesting was that, you know, she, she while calling these women out, she said, oh, you know, you guys are not living in the real world. You guys are not operating in reality. I thought that was interesting because, you know, Cardi B, her whole claim to fame was her, you know, quote unquote, authenticity. 
right it was from social media to um her when she was on the reality show like a lot of people gravitated to her because she was being authentic she was being who she really is she was being herself and in being herself uh, people felt like you know she was very relatable whether they could relate to it or they knew somebody who was similar or whatever the case is they appreciated her um ability to just be free be herself and not think of or care about what other people think What's been happening, though, is that as she is growing, I don't know if it's just, you know, mentally or uh, just maturing or whatever the case is, there is a lot of uh, contradiction between the reality that she's living and the quote unquote authenticity that she's spewing. And it's very contrary to the lyrics that she sings in her music. Very contrary. You see, somebody like me, if I'm going to be really honest with you guys, I've always known that she had a certain mindset. One, because of the background of, you know, how her cultural background between her her father and her mother. And two, whenever um, Offset put out this video years ago um, after her song WAP came out, this is when I knew who she really was. Mm-hmm. That's, but that's my thought. I'm really old school. I'm old school. Old school too. <laughs> you need to stop lying on your phone, man. She be lying. She clean. She got the clean. I'm gonna punch you in your head. Lying to you for so much you don't clean. Nah. If you hear, in, if you hear in his voice, he said she's lying on her songs saying that she don't cook and she don't clean. She does clean. She has to clean. Which means that based off of my standard as a man, that's what he's saying, I wouldn't even be involved with her or we wouldn't have even gotten to the step if she was not a, um, of a certain mindset. That's something that I command. That's something that needs to happen within my space. She has to be a woman who is a part of a certain nature that is going to do these things. Just like around the same time when her song came out and people on the internet were complaining, but she was previewing the song and when her child walked in the room, she shut it off. So the standards that she's presenting about her actual home life is always showing, it's it's always shown the vast difference to what it is that she is singing or the lyrics that she's spewing out in her music. Very big difference. Huge difference. She said, you know, in in the end of that, that conversation, she says, you know, she's a real old school woman. She feels like she's supposed to build with a man. She feels like there's nothing wrong with supporting one one another and there's nothing wrong with unity. One thing that I have to say is that, you know, first off, let me just say this, okay? Whenever somebody says something, I don't just brand somebody off the bat, right? If somebody says something and I disagree, I will I will wholeheartedly disagree. If somebody says something and I agree, I will agree. It, that one person can say something I drastically disagree with and then turn around and say something else, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I agree with that. Because when I have these conversations, it's not targeted towards the person. It's, tar- it's targeted towards what it is that they're saying. My point of view based off of what they're saying, right? And I think that there's a point that we have to understand the um, accountability necessary when you are growing or maybe when you're maturing and you are saying things that directly correlate to the things that you're speaking out against. And what I mean by that is, you know, she's speaking out and saying that, you know, a lot of y'all become a real delusion. A lot of y'all thinking that, you know, you're just supposed to buy bags and you don't have to cook and you don't have to clean and you don't have to do anything about that. And a man's supposed to provide for you. But in actuality, they're doing that based off of the things that they see from people like you. You are the one, you know, that's showing the Birkin bags, the this or that. You're the one that put in your music that you don't cook and you don't clean. You know, you're literally spewing these same things. So you're actually adding to the delusion. A lot of women believe this because of the things that they've seen you do. Or not just you, but women who are very similar to you. 
It's all about, you know, what a man can provide for them and nothing about what they can provide because they are the prize. This whole mindset and narrative that a woman is the prize is all compromised by a lot of the things that are going on right now in media. That's real. So I have to, you know, call that out. Talking about the delu delusional women, talking about their inability to connect with reality, talking about how, you know, the, a lot of these women got it messed up again. It's being spewed on all facets of me media, whether it's TV, whether it's mute movies, whether it's mute, it's everywhere. Back in the day, you know, when, when there was like other rappers out like, you know, Lil' Kim and Foxy and stuff like that, you know, it was a very big difference because there was, I feel, a balance right the 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 raunchy stuff was kind of like a very small sector and then there was more of like you know love songs r&b songs you know uh men who talk about courting a woman and and women who who talked about like you know what i'll do and and i'll make love to you and and the, the kind of woman that i am and how much i want to cater to my man there was that balance now across the board there's none of that that's how much we can see how much the change has occurred To be honest, you know, a lot of the women who are delving deep into the realm of, of being delusional and, 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 oh, yeah, you know, I need a man who's going to pay all my bills. I'd rather be single and, and pay all the bills myself until I meet somebody who can pay all the bills instead of meeting somebody and we go half and half. Like, that's crazy. That literally makes no sense. That's why most of these women are going to be waiting in vain. <laughs> because you think that somebody's going to come and help you and assist you and do all the things for you. But what character building have you done? What about you is going to make it so that he feels like he is getting something out of the deal in return? What I've realized is that a lot of women are trying to find somebody to heal their childhood traumas that are based in um, financial distress. Right. So maybe because you were raised in a certain situation that you had less than or you had, uh, you know, certain uh, maybe uh, demographic around you that you guys had to do certain things or buy clothes from a certain store or do certain, you know, you you feel that it is going to be this man's duty to just elevate your whole lifestyle, change your entire life and give you the life that you've never experienced. Because you just deserve it so much. You're just so deserving. And you don't have to cook. You don't have to clean. You don't have to be supportive. You don't have to, you know, rub his back and tell him everything is going to be okay. You don't have to do none of that. All you have to do is be woman and that's supposed to be enough. Again, that is why a lot of women will be sitting there twiddling their thumbs, waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing's going to happen. Unfortunately, they're like I said, they're going to be waiting in vain. They're just going to be sitting there looking around. Well, I thought he was going to come in my 20s. Well, I thought he was going to come in my 30s. Well, I thought he was going to come in my 40s. Relationships are all about unity. That is the, the one fundamental rule about being in a relationship is that you are creating a union with somebody. You know, like whenever you're involved in like, uh, you know, for example, a team, or I'll say it like a credit union, right? Like if you're in a literally the credit union, you have certain benefits that come from you being a part of that union. That's the whole point. When you're in a relationship with somebody, a man is supposed to be getting a benefit. The woman is supposed to be getting a benefit. You guys are supposed to be coming together. If you have the dynamics that you are going to be the home homemaker and your husband is going to work and pay everything, that's amazing. Kudos. Nothing wrong with that. Your contribution is, is being the homemaker. The house can function, the meals, the clothes being washed, the whatever the case is, you know, all that is very vital for him to be able to just focus on whatever it is that he has to do efficiently, focus on the job, focus on whatever. That is a union. If we want to be honest, 
you know, there's a lot of people, especially in this time of, of, of very high inflation, that two parties are going to have to work. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You're working. He's working. You guys are building something together. You guys can get together. You can create plans. You can have a vision for, you know, five years, 10 years, whatever plans that you guys want to do. You guys are able to elevate. You can save some money. You can go on vacation. Like you guys can work together. What's so interesting is that there's so many women who are willing to be roommates with their homegirls and support and help their homegirls. But when it's a man in the picture, they feel like that's a problem and they don't want to do that. It's backwards thinking. It's twisted. I don't know where, you know, again, I, I believe, especially in this era of social media, that women have come to this place where they just feel that, you know, based off of other people being able to, quote unquote, secure the bag and get somebody to pay their bills and, and uh, you know, pay for their hair and their nails and their this and their that, that, you know, that is the only relationship that they should aspire for. And they have to understand that that is not everybody's reality. It's just not. If every woman in the world feels that that is their reality, let's just look at the statistics, the numbers, and the data. And we would all see that unless you guys are all going to be in a house uh, sharing the same man, that does not make any sense. That's just real. There's nothing wrong with building and growing. A lot of people that you see who are um, high earners, whether that is um, in, in any race, a lot of them, they either met in college, they met, you know, whatever the case is, and they build together. They get to a place that they no longer have to work because of the effort and the work that they put in together. Again, if you're in a situation that, you know, your spouse is somebody who does have the ability to pay all the bills and you are a homemaker, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But it does not mean that your relationship is the goal just because your man does that for you. Another reality is that a lot of these women don't understand the um, what other people get to obtain the lifestyle they have. What other people have to go through. What other people do. A lot of the things that, you know, these women look at how, oh, yeah, her, her man does all this stuff for her. Oh, her man does that. You don't understand the depths of what she does to receive the benefit. While you over here trying to tell your man how much he needs to be like that man, you don't even know what it takes to be that kind of woman that she is. You don't know the intricate details. Again, I thought it was very interesting that she, um, you know, she spoke out about how she's not a feminist anymore because I think that maybe, you know, as she's maturing, she's just realizing that it is a, a very 100% um, against the grain thing where if you're not doing what all these women say that you should do, if you don't feel like your man should bow down to you, if you want to be in a happy relationship and go through things and work things out and, and you know, create peace within the life between you and your man and you don't feel like he has to pay for all the things that men have done in the past to you, these feminists don't want to hear it. He's got to bow down. He's got to worship the ground you work, walk on. He has to kiss your feet. He has to do all these things. Otherwise, you know, we don't want you in our feminist brigade. Because although we say it's about equality, it's actually about us being the higher power and them being beneath us. So anything that you are talking about that, uh, you know, doesn't... Uh, Talk about the woman benefiting at 100%. We don't want to hear it. And when women are, are outwardly and speaking out that they were a part of that and they were cool with the system and now they're looking at y'all like y'all delusional, somebody needs to wake up. 
in my personal opinion, you know, I agree with what she said. I already gave you guys my, my whole backstory of, of her participation in the mindset of these women. But, you know, I'm just happy that the conversation keeps going broader and broader and broader. We keep seeing more people coming out saying, okay, I'm tired of y'all foolishness. <laughs> like, I'm tired of the foolishness. I can't do this with y'all no more. This is ridiculous. Because if nothing else, it's causing more women to think. It's causing them to say, hold on, wait a minute. No matter the, the garbage that they spew, no matter the disagreement, no matter if they calling her out, it's causing women to think about the things. Next thing you know, the guy that that's, um, you know, trying to get their attention, who is can help them pay their bills, who they can build something together. They might look at him a little bit differently based off of these conversations becoming so broad. Because it's not a stamp anymore that says, oh, he's supposed to pay everything. Now it's like, wait, hmm. Maybe I should give that guy a chance. Maybe I should give that guy a call. Maybe I should change my way of thinking. That's what makes sense to me. That's what the aim is. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.